Schools in the city will be engaged in the plastic buyback program initially and then to the whole public when the program is better established. After the end of the celebrations at the Sir Hubert Murray Stadium, Governor Pakop led students and other city residents picking up plastic and cleaning beach fronts at Kanudi, Ella Beach, Tatana, Konedobu, and Idubada. The participating schools include Kilakila Kila Secondary, Kilakila Kila Primary, Koki Primary, Padili Vocational, Seve Samaria Primary, Koki Vocational, and St. Francis Primary Schools. We are going to go out uh, to clean up certain parts of the city, the, the foreshore, to pay respect to the ocean. We've taken it for granted for too long, but now it's time for us to have a different relationship and different uh, approach to the ocean. Yep. Plastic affects the marine life in different ways, with nearly 80% entering from land. Plastic reaches streams, drainages, and waterways when littered or dumped and finally ends up in the ocean, he said. Referring to the report from the Center for Biology Diversity, Governor Pakop said at least 267 different species of marine life have been affected by plastic pollution in the ocean. So today, you may come, NCDC, Active City, UNDP, SEPA, CCDA, Ogana School, Miami, Ogana Mama, Rose City 2, all come the unique walk in the uh, commemoration of uh, World Ocean Day, two days in advance. But you are lying on beach now. The facts are very alarming, with more than 100,000 marine animals being killed by plastic bags annually. One in three leatherback sea turtles have been found with plastic in the stomach, he said. Pakop said it is all a result of irresponsible behavior of the city residents just dumping rubbish in the drains. Frida Kana, TV1 News.